Hello mother. Thank you for these, this video. Latchkey children have been a concern uh, and awareness of mine for quite some time. In fact, when uh, it first became to be called Latchkey Children. And I said in my message, text message and comment that I was going to make a video and lay out a little bit of stuff so maybe people can see this and start making connections in their minds and therefore come to the understanding that we all need to be there to support each other because this has been a deliberate fostering of uh, a way of life placed upon us for nefarious ends by others even though other people saw it differently as it was happening I don't know if these same people who saw it as a benefit uh, would still say so and I'd like to go back in time uh, to the women's liberation movement and Gloria Steinman Gloria Steinman was found, uh, funded by Rockefeller no less and there was a multiple agenda behind this number one you by liberating women and enabling them to enter well not just enabling them to enter the workforce but more or less foster the need for the women to have to leave the home and the children which is the most important job that there is bar none over any other that I can see being a mother is the most important thing period no other job comes close so they foster this and they get the women out into the workforce as another tax base Two, destruction of the fabric of family which is the basis for society and we can see since the women's liberation movement and this is no dogging against women it was just misunderstood the agenda behind it yes I believe in women's liberation uh, it's just the way this was actually done is is bad for all of us when you also break down the family unit and you get another tax base you we can see the problems that have arisen since the 60s when this took place and we look at the now and there's a major change in our society as a whole and they keep using fear to bring unity to us as a nation but there's uh, an even greater evil downside to this is that by that fear that they foster in us of everybody who is outside we also fear everyone inside sometimes it's good to be skeptical but outright hysterical hysterical fear no uh, that's not and this is actually documented if you want I can go out and get these documents again uh, that prove this was uh, the purpose of the whole thing uh, of the women's liberation we've got more violence more accepting of it more lasciviousness more lewdness uh, moral degradation see and here's the big one besides the tax base the destruction of the family unit you also have the destruction of the humanity within us see as our humanity is stripped away at us piece by piece we become more accepting of things that are not humane in anybody's language unless you're just some psycho that needs to be locked up somewhere that's uh, what I wanted to bring to this and you're so right uh, on this and I also give thanks to the person that uh, you got this from 
I noticed you acknowledged, gave credit to someone in the uh, comment section. Well, no, the about section, which is not really the about section anymore. And also, the child in us stays with us into adulthood. Uh, we are a summation of the total of our experiences in life. And that's what we will carry over to the other side. That's what we will bring to the table, so to say, to enrich us as a whole in our awareness. Um, so when all is said and done, we'll have all the all experiences and it will be shared amongst all. And so uh, it enhances us as humans. And we can't lose sight of that. We need to stay human. Look at how ready we are to uh, turn on anyone. Just on a whiff. Terrorist. 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 Terror over here. Terror over there. See, they got us going with this fear thing. And it's so blatant but it is still very destructive we as people in communities and 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 I know it's hard see but we're not meant to live in big cities like this god didn't intend that for us that's why he destroyed babel uh besides the arrogance and the hubris um and the threat that man was uh posing to himself by his arrogance it cuts us off from nature and by doing so it cuts us off from our center of balance as a human because the earth cycles at 7 hertz we cycle at 7 hertz uh, but being cut off with all this concrete and tar you don't get that it's like natural crystals we use in electronics. They have a resonating frequency within themselves. You don't have to do anything to them. That energy and that signal is already in them. So if you were to go out and if you haven't been able to do this for a while and just take your shoes off and, and dig them into some nice... Uh, a nice clean area uh, whether you don't have concrete and tar and just sit up there for a while and you would be amazed at the feeling of peace and contentment you get uh, just from this simple act it's actually of uh, the pause that refreshes uh, to borrow a phrase from a commercial product uh, that's just it we're we're being cut off from each other and because again I want to get back to cities because we're now in cities we're isolated we don't even know who lives in the apartment next door most of the times so therefore because we don't know and we're boxed in little boxes we're not connecting with each other and if we had those connections then by default it's going to be in our nature to be there to support each other that that's within us that's our basic uh, nature and that's been cut off from us we need to regain that not just for ourselves but the children as you point out and their children we need to find a correct way of life uh, and this is something everybody needs to think about and address. As I said, it takes a whole village to raise a child. We all need to start being there for each other. Just be there, you know. And God bless you for the video. Um, I'm really glad you posted it. Thank you, Mother.